When the first rays of spring sunshine start to warm up Lake Constance, people who own Nordic folk boats are among the first to set sail. These are true sailing enthusiasts who say their hobby is a great way to enjoy the water. <laughs> it just feels perfect. You wait all winter long to be able to get out and try to master the wind and nature when there's a lot of wind and waves. It's fascinating. I like the quiet. It makes no sound. And I like the way nature dictates how you move. With 24 square meters of sails, a length of seven and a half meters, and a weight of two tons, a Nordic folk boat can sail at up to 15 kilometers an hour. Its elegant shape has remained unchanged for 65 years. You can sense it and you can see it. I look at one craft and think it's not much of a boat. Then I'll look at another and think I have to get my hands on that. That's how it was with the folk boat. I fell in love with it at first sight and I still love it. In 1942, the Scandinavian Yacht Racing Union presented a design for a sloop that was meant to be affordable and easy to sail. Nowadays, with prices starting at 40,000 euros, Nordic folk boats are no longer cheap, but their charm endures. You're so close to the water. When I reach down, I can touch the water with my hand. In a folk boat, I'm in touch with my surroundings, the waves, everything. Roland Pagre has been building Nordic folk boats on the Swiss shores of Lake Constance for more than 30 years. It takes him a year to form the overlapping planks of mahogany into the right shape. The S shape of the hull makes the boat roll less in a swell. Good sailors appreciate that. He models his boats on the original design from 1942. Every tiny detail is recreated down to the last millimeter. That's true of the boat's interior as well. The cabin has room for four sailors. We only sleep in the cabin. Real life takes place back there in the open cockpit. That's where they can easily meet other folk boat enthusiasts, and many of them know each other. Some 15,000 of them are organized in associations worldwide. Nordic folk boats aren't just excellent for regattas, they're perfect for excursions. No wonder they're equipped with drink holders that can weather a storm. Up to force nine gales. At force nine, the navigator has to hold it himself. <laughs> it's certainly not that stormy in Germany yet, but the sailing season has only just begun.